In this episode of the Android debugging tutorial, we're going to be implementing a fix. Hey, wait a minute, it's not a fix, it's a workaround to issues found on the Samsung Note 4 device. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel, and as mentioned in the introduction, we're going to be putting a fix for, not a fix, we're going to be putting a workaround uh, for problems that people are seeing on Samsung Series 5, or in my case, the Samsung Note 4 device, when we're using the Camera 2 video application, once you stop recording, people are seeing the problems of the application freezing up and the preview is no longer, the preview capture session isn't starting. So it's a workaround because we're not seeing this issue on the um, Nexus devices, just this type of Samsung device. So this code is not, this, the, the uh, workaround that I found, I'm not going to actually be putting it onto the main Git mainline because it's, it's, it's not totally compliant with what the documentation says. The documentation says to close the previous capture session, you just start a new capture session. But our fix is not going to quite do it that way. But it does resolve the issue that people are seeing on the um, Samsung Series 5 devices. Okay, so we'll make a start. Okay, if we look down here, we can see we're on my master branch. But as I mentioned, we're not going to be implementing a fix on the master branch. I'm going to create a special branch just for Sam Samsung devices. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to create a new branch. A new branch I'm just going to call Samsung. It's got to be all lower cases. Samsung underscore work around. Notice it's not plural. I'm only ever going to do this once. One workaround for Samsung Series 5 device. Other people who have problems on their devices, I'll just point them to the debugging tutorials just to give them a help on how to resolve their own problems. Select OK to that. OK, so branch workaround is created and I'm now operating on that branch. So I can make these changes on this branch and they will be pushed up to GitHub but they won't be available on the main branch. You'll have to check out this branch to get access to those fixes. Okay, so that's enough of Git, um, Git stuff using Android Studio. Let's move back to the main topic which is implementing a workaround to, so we can start the preview session again. Okay, let me just increase the size of the display here. Okay, so from the previous tutorial, the problem is we believe that the start record capture session isn't closing down before the start preview capture session is starting. Therefore, the start preview session doesn't have access to the start record session surfaces. And that's what we think is the problem. That's what's causing our illegal state exception crash. So what we're going to do is we're going to enforce that the start record session has closed completely before starting the preview session. So that's the fix that we're going to implement in this code. So first thing I want to do is I want to create a member for my camera capture request for the record capture session. Just look for a place to create that. I'll create that above the capture request builder. I believe this is called camera capture session. I'm going to call it member record capture session. Now I need to initialize and set that up. That will happen in the start record member. So it's when we create our cap camera capture session callback. Once it's on configured, we get a configured session here. So this is where we're going to initialize our member that we just created.
And if I just go down here and change that to the member we just created. Okay, so we our member we've just created, our camera capture request member that we've just created now has um, access to our record capture session. And while I'm here inside the state callback, let me override the on closed member there. There, there it is down here. So this is going to be the place where I can actually call uh, uh, start the preview capture session because at this point down here we'll know that our record capture session has uh, released all all its objects including the camera services. Okay, but before I do that let me go into the on click button, the record button when we, when we want to stop recording. And since it's an on create member here. So down on this line here, we've when, when, we, when we go into this if statement, it's when we're completing recording. So when we're completing recording, we can stop our record capture session. So if we just call our record capture session and call close on that. And once the camera capture session has fully closed, it will call its on close mem uh, method. And down here, we will need to comment out the start preview because we're not going to start the preview inside this if statement. We're going to wait for the record capture session to be fully closed before calling start preview. Now let's go back to the start record. Go down here, and it's down here where we can call the start preview. Basically, as I was mentioned, when the record capture session has fully closed, we can then start our preview from down here and as you can see you can see why I'm calling this a workaround code normally you don't need to call close on your camera capture session the, um, the system will do it for you and it's the system supposed to do it for you but we believe on the Samsung Series 5 and the Samsung Note 4 devices there could be timing issues so there's a timing issue where one thing's starting before it should be starting because other thing hasn't yet closed. And so we're going to try and enforce the stepped behavior by one session closing before we call start on another session, which is what we're trying to do here. Okay, so the next step here is let's try running the code and see if we can do a recording and get back to our preview session. Okay, application's now started. Normally I would record the application so you can see what's happening, but there is issues with trying to record on the camera to application as well as recording to the PC at the same time. So I'm just going to do the recording on my device and then we'll just pay back the two recorded clips. So first thing I'm just going to record is on the display. And preview started up again so we've resolved that issue we'll do another recording now just of the keyboard I believe I need to clean my keyboard as well and preview started up again so I've done two recordings and we've gone back to our start preview so let me just close this application so that gives me confidence that we've resolved the issue by not starting the preview after doing a recording. We can now do that with this fix in place. It's not a fix, it's a workaround. Okay, it's a workaround. Okay, so let me record the screen now just so we can prove that we've actually, we've, let me record the screen now so we can actually prove that we've actually recorded two, two videos. So I'll start up my file explorer. This was empty before. So we'll start at the first one. And that's the display. Start at the second one, which should be the keyboard. Okay, so we've successfully recorded two videos. 
with the preview running the whole time. Okay, so that concludes the final episode of the Android debugging tutorial series. Um, one, the only way you can really confirm that you've found the problem is when you've put in a fix and that's resolved that particular problem. And so as we saw here, I didn't actually put in many lines of code and in my mind it was clear what I needed to do to implement, to stop the uh, record capture session before starting the preview capture session and by calling the on close on the capture session and then waiting for its on close overridden method to be called on the cap record capture session I was ensuring that everything had closed down prior to starting the next capture session so in my mind I'm now relatively confident that I found the problem that we're seeing on the Samsung Series 5s and on the Note 4 device that I happen to own. So I've put in a fix for this. Um, not a fix, a workaround. It's a workaround because it's, 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 it's not a proper bug fix because the code on the ne Nexus 5X works fine and it's in line with the documentation. This workaround code's not in line with the documentation but it resolves the problem we're seeing. So what we can um, what we can summarize from this is that there's some sort of issue on the Samsung Note 4 device, Samsung Note on the Samsung Series 5 devices. It's a timing issue, um, and I have noticed that other people have been seeing other issues with their sessions as well, not recording but on other applications. So it's definitely a problem there. Um, me personally, I would not do real development, core development on a Series 5 unless the customer or client was using that type of device. I'd stick to the Nexus devices where if something goes wrong, I'm pretty sure it's in the core code. Because if you see a problem here, you don't know if it's in the Android code or if it's in the code or the hardware that's running a particular manufacturer's device. And it just adds to the complexity of where the issue maybe in this case. Anyway, so that concludes the Android debugging tutorial series. If you want to get notified of my any of my other tutorial series that I'm working on, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm working on and news related to mobile application tutorials, um, these are the social media accounts. If you've got a PC, you can click on those and get taken to those. So those will give you updates of any bug fixes, documents, videos, or anything else that I'm working on, I do publish on these social media accounts. And directly above me is a link to my website. So that's probably the best place to view the uh, videos. Uh, you've got the references to the code changes that have been made. You've got the video up there, of course. And you've got descriptions of how to get the code from GitHub as well. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.